The weather is moving absolutely mad. So I'm really scared. It's my children will not come and tell me the context, but I just didn't want to talk about it until it was over. The actual movie, it was actually really good. I know 2021 has been a bit of a roller coaster. I mean, for me personally. Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Friday, the 24th of December. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. And we are about to leave to go to Winter Wonderland. Oh my God, I am so in. What the hell? It's like 6.30 p.m. and we were meant to leave at like 6. So I thought I would quickly try and do this intro. Ignore like the paint and stuff in the background. We're in the process of redecorating, hence why there's like paint everywhere. Like on the wardrobe anyway i really wanted to wear these cute nails i feel like they go with my makeup as well they're like these little heart shaped nails from shein like £1.50 but i think i'm just gonna wear them in the car <laughs> the weather is moving absolutely mad currently on oxford street it's really pretty have all the christmas lights i literally had to run to booths to get an umbrella why is umbrella costing 16 pounds hmm? i would like to know why an umbrella costs 16 pounds Table. Basically, we're looking for a game that Tyra can win me a prize on. <laughs> 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 no, I need to try again. Guys, you won me a teddy. You won me a teddy. Man, lick down all the targets here. Yeah? A man said it's only two wins. What should we name it? Yeah, I should have. I wanted to get one of them. Well, thing. Big one. I should have come here first. I would have licked down everything. So obviously I have no time to get ready as usual but regardless I thought I've not done a makeup related video or anything to do with makeup on my channel for a while so I thought I would do like a really quick makeup tutorial. I'm getting ready to go to the cinema so I'm quickly gonna show you guys what i do i don't know why i get so hot when i'm filming and doing makeup at the same time so i'm gonna start off with my foundation and it is the fenty beauty pro filter foundation in the shade 230 this is my favorite 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 foundation so i literally just put it all over my face and my skin is absolutely going through it right now boy when i got my dear Solara, it was showing everything like everything and then i'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend it all out next i'm gonna use the kevin aquan concealer and i'm not gonna lie i don't use this all the time but i rediscovered it the other day so i'm just gonna take the tiniest little bit and put it under my eyes a little bit goes a long way and i've definitely used too much but it's okay I already filled in my brows but I'm just gonna tidy them up and conceal around them. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. concealer. Wait, is that the right shade? Oh my god. Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna wear eyeshadow today because I've not got time. And then I go under my eyes again and use the Too Faced concealer in the shade Snow and I use that under my eyes just to make it extra bright. I just put it here in the, in the corner and then on the edges i use it on my forehead on my chin and then i basically just leave that for like a few minutes i know everyone says to leave your concealer for a few minutes and i never knew why but apparently it's because the water in your foundation evaporates and then it makes the concealer more concentrated and then you get more coverage <laughs> I know it looks crazy right now, but don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. So then next I go in with the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer thingy and I just use that to contour. So this is what it looks like when it's all blended. It looks really dewy and like glowy. 
at the moment because i've got oily skin that's not the look that i'm going for so then i'll set it with my huds of beauty translucent powder and then i'll just set the part where i concealed and then i go and use this makeup revolution bronzer just to like go over where i contoured what time is it six o'clock like exactly six o'clock like 17.59 so it's not six o'clock i've got one minute <laughs> and then once i've done that i will go in with a blush also i just wanted to mention because i have been getting a few questions on it recently and um i just didn't want to talk about it until it was over if you guys have been following me throughout my whole pharmacy journey then you'll know that in one of my last videos i was talking about how you know i was still yet to sit my exam and you know how i was still working and stuff but my exam got delayed um but i actually sat my exam in november and i got my results last week and it's so crazy to me that i can like finally say that i passed my pharmacy pre-registration exam ah! oh my god i'm gonna ruin my makeup alhamdulillah like i'm so grateful i did not expect it at all and it's so weird to think that all them years of studying like, my whole life has just been studying i went to uni been studying my pre-reg year studying like I just feel like it was never ending. I think I'm gonna do a whole separate video on how I revised the exam and stuff. Um, so if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. I don't know if a lot of you guys are interested in that side, but it's part of my life, so. But yeah, oh my God, okay. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera because I actually don't have time, like, don't have time. Okay, so I did the rest of my makeup off camera and this is the finished look. Um, we really have to go now because we're really really late i'll let you guys know how the film is and if i recommend that you guys watch it and we're also going to the cinema on tuesday to watch the matrix i'll catch up with you guys later <laughs> so i fried down some eggs fry some plantain and toast some other bread and that's all we're having for breakfast not gonna lie, the one good thing about London is that the Tesco has a whole halal section. Yeah, that's what you get in these sides. Your <laughs> sides are We don't have that where I'm from. Do you know why we're going down this aisle? Because I'm looking for the the alcohol-free Guinness that they just brought out so that I can make Guinness products. We're back in the kitchen now and we're gonna try and make mocktails. My favourite mocktail ever is a pina colada, so I'm gonna make that. Virgin pina colada. Obviously, but... It's a mocktail, it's obviously virgin. Yeah, but you have to be clear. Okay, I'm gonna make a virgin pina colada. I've got pineapple juice, I've got coconut milk, I've got ice, and I've got lemon. Is that everything that you need? You are gonna make. I'm just gonna make a little, you get me, experimentation, little spicy, fruity, cherry, scotch bonnet type thing. Though. This guy likes to add scotch bonnet. Last time we made mocktails, he added scotch bonnet. And was it nice? No. That's a lie. I couldn't even drink it. I couldn't even drink it. Yeah, that's because you can't it. take no spice. You need to build that tolerance because my children will not come and tell me they can't take spice. So, I got some cherries, black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, and these are some darker sure, ones. Do yeah. you get me? So they can see that my trim is not trimming. <laughs> okay, wait. I don't know and how then, to that. I'm just going to leave you guys here. And then, yeah. I've got... Scotch bonnet sauce. I couldn't find any of the scotch bonnets because we didn't go to the shop that had them. To top it off, I got some ginger ale. So did you get me? Some spice and flavours. Very debatable flavours, can I just say? Listen, I'm exotic. I'm exotic. I do exotic flavours. Smell it. It's not that bad. <laughs> Listen. Why would you want to drink that? I don't get it. Why would you want to drink that? I'm Jamaican. This is what we do. <laughs> okay, so for my one, we're just going to need some coconut milk, some pineapple juice, a bit of lemon for decoration, and some ice.
Okay, so this is the end result. That's my pina colada and that's Tarek's. Why are you even naming this? Scotch cherry. That's what we want to call it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think mine does look pretty good. But let me know in the comments which one you guys think looks the best and which one you think would taste the best. So we're going to taste each other's, yeah? Mm -hmm. First. And we have to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll be completely honest, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And vice versa. Mm -hmm. So I added cinnamon to mine and he added the rest of his fruit to his. Okay, bismillah. <laughs> it tastes a lot better than the first time he made it with the fresh scotch bonnet. I feel like the sauce isn't as bad. Sounds like I need to add more pepper to it to me. <laughs> it literally hits you. Yeah. After all, I guess to the back of your fruit. <laughs> Got a bit of kick. I mean, with the sugar on it, and it, it looks nice. And as an experience with the sugar, it's good. Mm -hmm. But in terms of flavour, mm -hmm. it's just not there. You know what it is? I needed to get the ice and crush the ice and blend it all. But yeah, I think I'm going to go drink the rest of this mocktail. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I would just like to take this opportunity to let everybody know that not only was I ready on time, but I was ready before Tarek. Okay? So this is just some um, videographic evidence before anyone tries to come and tell me that I am the reason that we are always late. Hey! We might be late! We are on our way to go and watch The Matrix Resurrection in 4D. 4DX. 4DX. So I don't know what that means. I know there's like seats moving and um, what else? I know they said like simulated wind and sun and water. Basically over the past like week or so, I've been forced to watch all three Matrix movies. It was over like two weeks. So okay, over like two weeks so that I could understand what was going on in this movie. I really like my makeup today. You can't really see it properly but just everything just blended so well today you know you need just a good makeup day guys i really want to get a new camera because as you guys know i've been using my phone because my um canon 750d is literally too big for me to take anywhere and i really want to get like um a smaller vlogging camera i think i'm gonna get the canon g7x mark ii that everyone and their mom has got but they're so expensive why are they so expensive <laughs> Yeah, it was insane. I can't lie. I thought it was just going to be like some alternate reality. It's not. It's an actual sequel. It's not even the actual movie. It was the 4DX. Okay, basically, the seats move like a roller coaster. You've got water spraying in your face. You've got wind. You've got lights. Like, I was flying off my seat. Like, we needed seat belts. Yeah, it was insane. They definitely need seat belts on there. But it's got like some wind thing by your head. So when the bullets was flying, it's like the bullets was flying past your head. When we went in there, the queue for like any drinks or popcorn was like huge. So we didn't even get a chance to eat or drink anything. So I kind of felt a bit sick and a bit dizzy from all the movement. But the actual movie, it was actually really good. You don't want to go on a cable car now, do you? We can if you want. Shall we? Yeah, we can do it. I am so hungry. Like the whole time during the movie, all I was thinking about is that, um, Burger. But first, we're gonna ride on the Emirates cable cars because I've never been on them and I feel like. Have, right? have you never? No. I'm going on them. These are your that. ends, what you mean? You've never been on them. So we've got the whole carriage to ourselves and I'm really scared. Of what? <laughs> I don't know. It's like when we went to Winter Wonderland and we were on the wheel. I was like, yes, come. And then we started going higher and higher. And I was like, nope. <laughs> Look at the view. Yes, please. Only till I scream, I'll never Hey guys, we just got back and I'm about to get eat the fattest burger that is waiting for me downstairs. But I realised in my last vlog, I forgot to like do an outro so i just thought i would come and end the vlog here it's probably the last video that you're gonna see before the new year so i hope everyone has 
a good rest of the year inshallah and i know 2021 has been a bit of a roller coaster i mean for me personally i can't even remember half of it a lot of good stuff has happened alhamdulillah i'm so grateful but also there's obviously been times where i've been absolutely going through it as well but i guess that's just life but yeah i do hope that everyone has a good rest of the year and i will see you guys in my next vlog make sure to follow me on instagram if you haven't already i'll leave my app here and make sure to like and subscribe as well okay.